Now the next browser that we will be configuring is uh, the Chrome browser. Again, uh, if I want to work on Chrome, the class is Chrome driver. I'm simply going to create an object of Chrome driver class by saying Chrome driver driver equal to new, new Chrome driver, say control shift O and the Chrome driver package will be added over here. Now, uh, if I comment out this thing and run this again, this will not going to launch Chrome browser or rather this will going to give me the same exception that is the path to driver executable must be set by web driver chrome dot driver system property. So this time instead of gecko driver, I need to give chrome driver and then I would be needing the chrome driver exe file. Now where to get this? Again, this is provided by uh, the chrome browser itself. So you need to go to selenium hq and here you need to go to download, go to third party browser and look for Chrome driver latest and download this 2.45 and see for Windows only 32 bit is available but that should be fine. It will work for uh, the 64 bit as well. So see, I've already downloaded uh, this. I'm not going to redo it. And uh, if existing files show, okay, it's probably I may have overridden that. Just give me a moment. So I go to compressed folder and I'll find this chrome driver this is the one yeah I'll extract it here itself so where it is yeah I'll copy this and paste it to executables paste it over here right so now uh, the path the file is chrome driver.exe the path is same i'll save this run this and let's see if it launches on chrome browser or not see starting chrome and yes it navigates to way to automation.com there are no failures it terminates the execution is successful. So this is how you will be configuring Chrome browser by downloading this uh, Chrome browser executable file provided by the Chrome vendor and creating an object of Chrome driver class. All right. So in the next uh, in the in the next example, we're going to configure IE.